At the time of this video, I have over a quarter of a million subscribers. I've gained almost 200,000 subscribers just in the last 12 months. So I'm gonna tell you how you can grow your YouTube channel fast as well. And we're starting right now. First, I wanna give a shout out to the Niminati. You have made this whole YouTube thing just an awesome experience for me. And I just wanna let you know that you're appreciated and I thank you for being a part of this community. And with that said, right before we get into the tips really quick, I would also like to know how long you have been watching my videos for. Let me know down in the comments, I'm just curious. And if you're new, just say new so I can welcome you to the Niminati. Okay, so the first thing that I did is, of course I made videos that you want to watch. You know, my particular audience, the people that are watching this video right now, you like to watch live streaming videos, you like to watch mobile videos, you like to watch live streams, you like to watch tips on how to grow your channel, how to get views, that sort of thing. And because of that, that's the content that I make the most. So on your channel, you should go through your analytics and say, okay, well, what am I putting out that people are really responding to and how can I put that content out more. Next up on the list is consistency. Over the last 12 months, I've been just crazy consistent with my content. I've had a couple of times, maybe three or four times, to where I've missed an upload or I've had to miss a live stream because I've been out of town or something like that. But for the most part, I've been extremely consistent over the last 12 months. And this is why that's important. When two videos are uploaded a week, plus my live stream, that's three times a week and it's all spaced out over the course of the week. When I upload that content on a regular basis, what happens is I'm constantly in the minds, so to speak, of of you, the people that are watching my videos. And I'm in your mind because YouTube keeps putting me on your homepage. YouTube keeps putting me in your subscription feed. YouTube keeps suggesting me to you when I upload a new video because I constantly have new videos coming out. And because I constantly have videos coming out that you respond to, YouTube is constantly putting me out there in all of these different places around the platform, letting people know that I have new content. And here's the thing, if you have a channel right now that is working in terms of, you know, like, hey, I'm, I'm getting views, views are coming in, my retention good, my click-through rate's good, people are engaging in my content, the more content that you start putting out, the better off that you're gonna be because if people are responding to it, then you're putting out all of this good content that people are responding to, which in turn is gonna cause YouTube to send more and more people to you with the more and more content that you keep putting out. I'm not the best at math, but I can tell you a lot more videos equals a lot more chances of people seeing those videos, a lot more chances of the recommendations, and a lot more chances of potential videos doing a lot better than other videos. So being consistent and uploading on a regular basis has been really beneficial for me and it can be for you as well. Another thing that can help you grow really fast on YouTube is making sure that the content that you're putting out, all aspects of your content, the background that you're using, how you're presenting the content, how things look, how things sound, the music that you're using, and even the language that you use, making sure that all of it resonates with the audience that you're trying to reach, that target demographic of people that you're trying to get in front of, making sure that every aspect of the content that you're creating is something that will resonate with the people that you're wanting to reach. Like on my channel, you know, one of the things that's helped me in my opinion is that, you know, I make my content in a way that other creatives can enjoy. You know, I try to make it look a certain way, try to make the colors pop. I try to do some, you know, fun and creative stuff from time to time just to remind myself and other people that in addition to making talking head videos that I'm also a creative as well. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, I try to make a boring image look relatively cool so that you'll dig it. The next thing that has really helped is just continuing to educate myself on all of this stuff in terms of, you know, the algorithm and making sure that I go through the YouTube Creator Academy on a regular basis, um, going through the process of getting YouTube certified. You know, of course that was helpful. Watching the content that other creators are putting out and seeing what things that they're doing on their channels that are working and things that they're doing that are not working and just kind of keeping track of, of what's going on. That's been really helpful and educational because you get to see through other people's experiments, the things that do and do not work that you should or shouldn't try to apply on your channel. And the important thing about educating yourself, in my opinion, is that YouTube is constantly changing. So it's important that as YouTube and social media, the whole landscape, as you know, video and all that stuff, as it's all morphing, 
it's important that we all constantly educate ourselves so that we can stay up with the changes that are taking place. I mean, that's how you win, right? You learn what works and you keep doing that and you keep educating yourself to make sure that what you're doing is going to continue to work. Another thing that's been extremely helpful for me on my channel, and it can be for you on yours as well, is making sure that every piece of content that you put out adds value to other people in some way. If you go back to my 10,000 subscriber milestone video and you watch, actually, if you watch all of my milestone videos, I'll put links to some of them down in the description, but if you watch my milestone videos, you'll see the common theme that ripples through all of them is, you know, be consistent, add value to other people, care, you know, connect with your audience, you know, try to meet your audience where they're at. And I know it sounds kind of like new agey saying, hey, you know, to add value and all that. But really, at the end of the day, adding value to other people is, in my opinion, that's the best way to win. But here's the thing. Growing on YouTube is not rocket science. Yes, there are things that you can do to make things go faster. Yes, there are things that you can do to connect with your audience on a deeper level. Yes, there are things that you might be overlooking right now on your channel. But if you're not growing as fast as you would like right now, be patient, hang in there. You can do this. In all honesty, it may take you a while to get to where you wanna be. You know, it might take you a year, two years, or maybe even longer, or six months from now, you might just blow past all of your wildest expectations for what you're able to accomplish here on the platform or in social media or video in general, because this whole space is just getting bigger and it's just getting more powerful and more opportunities are just pouring from video content. So being able to tap into that and being able to just stay the course is extremely important. And I know that sometimes it gets discouraging. I know that sometimes it gets overwhelming. I know sometimes you might look at the numbers, you know, you might have like a, a friend of yours or you might have somebody that you're competing against they, where you say, you know, like, oh, you know, they're, they're doing so much better than I am. What's going on? What am I doing wrong? You know, it might not be that you're doing something wrong. It might just be that there hasn't been enough time yet. Maybe you haven't put out enough videos yet. Maybe, you know, you just haven't done enough yet yet in order to get everything working in your favor. And that's where educating yourself, at the very least, going through the YouTube Creator Academy is extremely important because, you know, just like anything else, you know, you need to arm yourself with the information so that you can approach this whole thing properly. And just like anything else, the more that you know, the more that you're able to identify when you see it, when you're creating it, the more that you're able to identify in that process, the better off that you're gonna be. And if you're new and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe icon right up here. And if you've been around for a while, you can go ahead and watch your next video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.